This segment, Hardwired Exotics, is about collecting memories. My name is Tony Thomas, and you're watching Hardwired Exotics on YouTube. So, what you think? Pretty good cake? Pretty good cake. Pretty good cake? Where? Where? Good cake? What are you doing? A what? Cutting the cake. Cutting the cake. Nice. Hi. Nice. So what's up? What are we doing? Oh. Why, are we sit why are we sitting in here? Because I'm fat and lazy. Because we just ate all that cake. <laughs> we just ate an entire cake. Yeah, that's all good. And I didn't have a single glass of milk. I didn't either. I'm thirsty. <coughs> so, it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday. We got to film. What are we talking about? So, somewhere along the lines, we promised that we would do a question and answer of your story. Since My story. Done mine the other day. Well, what is this? So, I, don't, I don't have a story. I'm just you a, got, you got to answer these questions. I'm just a YouTube noob here. I don't I don't answer questions. What do I got? Talk to me. All right. Oh man. It's not math, is it? It's not a spelling bee. Math? Yeah. I don't think so. So okay. Is it true false questions? Um. <laughs> it could be. Could be. All right. So let's see what we got. We got to find the. Uh, Oh, this is like the one you did the other day. Yeah, I just said. Yeah, I don't remember, man. I can't remember what I had for breakfast. I could have swore Cassie. There it is. Cassie's got it in there somewhere. All right. So, a couple of days, well, a week ago, or whatever. Uh, FX. FX, that's right. FX. Yeah, I remember FX. On YouTube, asked some questions, and I kind of gave my rant, run through on those. So let's uh let's do your side of the story. All right, cool. The journey. No, let's see. I don't have a uh, journey. How long has Craig been into ball pythons? Into ball pythons. That's what they asked. So Craig has been into ball pythons, <laughs> owning more than one ball python. This time for three years. I don't know. Yeah, I think yeah. Sure question. Not mine. Yeah, three years. So um. <clears throat> I had a ball python that was rehomed to, to me, shoot, early 2000s, girl I was dating had a ball python, and then I decided I was going to be a, a sweet boyfriend, and for her Christmas present, I bought her an albino. Remember that big albino I had? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that there was a difference between a ball python and a Burmese python. I just thought it was an albino. That was when the morphs, the, the new morph was the pied back in the day. So I ended up, after she left and all of her roommates left, I ended up with about four or five snakes in my house. You remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Mr. T was my ball, was my Burmese python. He was about 12 feet long. When you got him, he was a baby. He, oh yeah, he was a baby when I got him. So he was about 12, 12 uh, feet long before he passed away from a respiratory infection. That was back when I didn't understand how to properly take care of animals. You know, uh, that's when I listened to the advice from, you know, the chain stores and stuff like that. And yeah, let's, let's not do that. So then after that, I went, shoot, I'd say about 10 years for. A that was an expensive animal back then. That was a $600 snake. Yeah. That was a, for, for an albino Burmese python. That was $600. And that was with me getting a deal on it because. You knew the pet store owner. Because I knew the pet store owner, which I actually work for the pet store owner now at the Ford place. So yeah, that's that was a that's pretty cool. But um yeah, that was an expensive animal, animal back then. You know, you didn't I didn't think about it. You know, even just a standard regolo ball python was a two, three hundred dollar animal back then. You know? 
I mean, it's I just wild. more than that. Yeah, I, I always do end up getting good deals and things because I'm a nice person and I never <laughs> ask for I never ask for discounts. People just seem to give them to me. Um, so then I didn't have anything after that. After he passed away, I was upset and didn't want anything. Before that, I was into like lizards and all that, and turtles and stuff like that. I still want a pet alligator, and I'll have one at one point in time. Sometime I'll have a pet alligator. Then I ended up bumping back into Tony years later and was talking about snakes. And I was like, oh, man. I was like, Tony's breeding snakes. Let me go buy a snake from him because I really want to get one again. And I come over here, and I'm hanging out and just BS and doing my thing. And I was like, yeah, I remember the big thing was a pied back in the day. That tells you how long ago it's been. And Tony's like, oh, yeah. And I was like, yeah. And then, uh, you know, they, were, they had something... It was an all white snake with blue eyes. And Tony goes, oh, you mean like this? And I was like, holy shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, so I bought a blue eye Lucy from Tony. And I was like, okay, cool. So I bought that. I bought a rack from him. Uh, then like, what, two weeks later, I bought another blue eye Lucy from him. And then it just kept going and kept going and kept going. Um, I love animals. I love collecting, you know, different types of animals. I didn't even think about doing it as a breeding thing. I just have a collection. Mm. I still I still don't see it as I'm a breeder. Yeah, it's I, not, I have a collection. You have a collection of snakes. Yeah. And, trying, uh, and they just happen to... If the breeding happens, it happens. Yeah, if it happens, it happens. I, I, don't, I don't have any, you know... So different than somebody collecting uh, knives or Poke, toy, toy figurines. Pokemon and cards, and any of that stuff. But I think it's cool that everybody comes to the house and they're like, oh, you know, let me see your snake room. And they walk into my snake which we need to do a video about that at some point. We mm. keep forgetting. I, you know, I'm slacking, guys. I'm, I'm busy. But, um, yeah, I got. I think I got about, what, what did we figure out? 47 in the collection right now. I think by the end of the year, I want to have it up to about 80. And then that should be good. That will give me a ju justification for having a room dedicated to them. You know, so, yeah, you know, sure. I think that would be great. And, uh, what else, what's the rest of your questions? Uh, Craig's journey with snakes till now. <laughs> I already think, answered it. I think you just went through that one. Yeah. Uh, same sort of questions. Uh, future plans with your ball python breeding and show off some of Craig's adult snakes. So, once you get, you're, you're fixing to paint your room. So, once we get the room painted and, uh, should I do a time lapse video of me painting the room? That'd be pretty cool. I'll do that. I'll do that for you. So, um, so then we can go through the... Oh, because I actually do need to reorganize all my adults. So I need to go in there and reorganize the adults. Um, I need to get them... I, I don't know if I'm like everybody else, but I put them all in a certain order. Like with what I know I'm going to breed. Like all my albino, head albino stuff together. I've all seen my, it done a billion yeah, different ways. You know, and it's just how I like it, you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's then, what I tell people all the time. I was like, how do you do it? You know, then like, right in the middle, right in the middle, I have a retick. So when people go in there fiddle with my stuff, a retick just jumps out at them. You know? <laughs> Yeah, so, anyway. That's how we do it. Uh, so uh, let's go back to the future plans. What's the future? Um, I think the future for my collection, like I said, we'll get up to about 80 by the end of this year. That should make it where I think. You're going to shoot for, what? Do you, so 40, that's like 33 snakes. Yeah. This year. We can do it. Oh, I have no doubt, yeah. but what, I mean, what are you going to be looking for as far as like. So. You want babies, sub adults? No, adults? no. I think I'm gonna go with a little bit of a little bit of both. I think I'm gonna find some some possible if we breed out some babies. Obviously, I'll, I'll get some babies. So you plan on? But I'm, I'm planning trying on, to do some holdbacks. I'm trying to do some holdbacks, and I want to find some um, sub adults or something similar to that that can work in my projects for next year. So something pretty close to being breeder size. Um, I do need to get a few more males because, as we said, you can never have enough males. I think I'm at what eight, eight males for for forty for forty six ball pythons, one reticulated python. <laughs> um, oh yeah, you need some males. I need some males. So I need males, and then I'm I'm not very all over the board like everybody else. I, I get specific things that I know will work with everything in the collection. So I think I need what did we what did we say I needed the other day. I'm looking for a GHI inchy pied, I think, because I don't have any. I don't have a sing, I don't have a single pied in my collection. And you're going, you're wanting to do some albino stuff too. I want, so. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to bring. I'm trying to get an albino pied at some point in time. That's what I like, and then I want to see about getting my trick stuff into albino. I like albino. No, I don't care what you know. Anybody else can. That's what got me into snakes was albinos. I like. 
interesting. Yeah. So I'm that's for. so I want to see if I can do something in the trick line with an albino. Don't really care about trick pod. I don't think that would show up like like I'm expecting it to. But albino trick in my collection, I think I dig that. You know. Yeah, I'm thinking about trying to mix some trick stuff into albino, so then I can have some more trick. So I can have some trick albino stuff. I'm trying to get some more of the visuals. Um, then I'm hopefully my my little clown project that we got working. I've had those for what two years now. They're about to size two breed. I give them another year. I should be able to figure out what I've got with with that collection. Then I'll have some clown stuff into it. I want to see if I can mix up some stuff with that too. Just just to see what's going on out there. You know, it's always good to have some of these cool little things in the collection that most people have. I'd like to see like a um I'd like to see if I could make a Exanthic Batman. That'd be cool. That's not like next year, that's like way down the line. But yep. I think yeah, I think an Exanthic Batman would be cool looking. Got the we got the stuff, got the to, stuff to do it. Do it. You just gotta take the time to <laughs> stick them and, and wait and, wait for and it out. Pray on the odds. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, I'm just I'm just keeping my trick army going, you know? Like I said I I like them. I don't really care if anybody else does. It's yeah. just it's what I like. That's what it's all about. When it, it legitimately is just about my collection. Yeah. And if a snake sells and somebody buys it, then all I do is turn that money back around and put it back into my collection. Yeah. And then, I mean, it's not about the breeding aspect of it. It's just about my making my collection bigger. You know? Sure. Because I just kind of hang out in there. That's my video game room, too. Yeah. You know? So. Nothing wrong with that's that. About it. What else have we got question-wise? Oh, do either of you, you guys have the genetic bloodlines in your collection renowned? So do you have uh, anything? Oh, I got some, but we don't talk about it, and we don't show pictures of it. And if you've been to my house and you're actually friends with me, you've seen it. But we don't talk about it. It's kind of like Fight Club. You'll see it when time comes. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have answers soon. Yeah. But so so Still waiting. The answer to that is... To be continued. I was gonna. I was gonna <laughs> say no. Oh yes. <laughs> anyway, so that, uh, I think that's gonna round up all these questions. So anyway, anything else you'll say before we close this section out? Um, the Craig section. The Craig section. I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm just know. doing you. I'm just being me. Just enjoying my day off. This is what I do on my my day off. No. Yeah. I just I just hang out with my snakes. This is what I'm I do chickens. on Craig's day off. <laughs> yeah. Just hang out with my snakes and my chickens and come eat lunch with y'all. That's it. That's it. I film the YouTube. That's it. But, um, yeah. Deuces. Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics and make sure you subscribe. Bye!